Hey guys, a few people asked me about the camera I was using to make the videos with. It's a Kodak PlaySport. The model I use is ZX3. There's a new model out called the ZX5, but the reviews uh, say it's not quite as good as the ZX3. I purchased this one about a year ago. Uh, when you buy them, they come white. And I put uh, some camo wrap on it. About a month ago, I purchased another one. That's what I'm using to record this with. Uh, one goes on my bow, one goes on the camera arm. It's a pretty neat camera, especially for the price. It's uh, anywhere. Uh, uh, Whitetail Freak found them for $80 on eBay. I paid, uh, I think, $110 for mine at Sam's. But you can order them off uh, uh, any website. You can get them from Kodak. Uh, it takes a standard SD card. I use 8 gig. It holds quite a bit. I don't know the exact amount, but it depends on what setting you're using. Uh, I think I got three or four hours per card. It also comes with the battery. Uh, it's a, a little line, and a, I never take the battery out. It, it has a plug just to charge it, a wall charger. Um, you can also use a, a iPhone charger and plug it uh, in a vehicle and charge it. Size of that's what I like. It's real small, easy to pack. It's smaller than a, than an iPhone. Probably weighs about the same. The camera takes five megapixel pictures, or records in WVGA, 720p or 1080p high definition. It has a clearer picture than my uh, $400 video camera. It has a lot better picture than I've seen that comes from Roscoe Cam and a lot of the other action cams that are out there. And it's waterproof. And, uh, it's not just water resistant, but you can actually swim with it. It's uh, good for up to uh, 10 foot, so you don't have to worry about it while you're hunting it getting wet because it's completely waterproof. It weighs a lot less uh, than your normal video camera. This is a Hitachi that I used to use. And uh, it takes a mini disc and 30 minutes per disc. I was kind of have to change them. Uh, this is not waterproof and when I switch over to this one it's just a lot easier to use. You can stick it in your pocket, in your day pack, whatever. It has a, uh, a hole on the bottom of it just like a, a normal camcorder and you can get these screws uh, with a plastic uh, end on it and uh, I make a bracket. Let's grab my book. I made a, a homemade bracket that fits on uh, the stabilizer. This is my old bow, the one I used last year. I have an invasion now and I haven't made a bracket for it yet. You just take the screw and just uh, screw it in the, in the bracket and tighten it down. And what's good about it is when you draw back, you have to full draw, you can actually see the camera. But I've learned that it doesn't matter, you're going to have to watch the camera. Whatever you're going to point at, it's, it's going to video it. It doesn't take but, but a second for it to power up. It has a zoom on it. I normally don't zoom out. I try to get uh, the widest field of view I can. So I, I keep it zoomed in. Uh, you can zoom out with it. it. It gets really shaky when you zoom out. You just have to be careful. Just play with it and, and you learn what you can and can't do with it. After you make a shot, you can, uh, what's great is in the stand, you can uh, review your shot. You can take it off your bow and do the tracking job with the camera. It's a, a really neat camera. This is a homemade camera arm I built a couple years ago. Uh, works great. I used uh, I believe it's one inch aluminum tubing with uh, aluminum uh, channel iron or aluminum channel and just a ratchet strap to strap it to a tree. It, uh, it, it'll hold a heavy camera but uh, I, I don't need it since I went to this camera. I think I'm going to build another arm that's lighter, easier. It's not really that heavy. Uh, when it's compact, it, you could put it in your backpack, day pack. It, it fits great. It's just I don't need one. I like it this length, but I like to go with a smaller tubing for this little light camera. It'd be a lot easier to pack around. Um, you can uh, this, this bracket right here. I got it from Canon. Uh, it's just just a bracket to extend it up off the arm, and then it's another screw that I got it at Stein's, and it just uh, all it does 
Just keep the fluid head on. The fluid head I bought from uh, B&H Photoshop. I think it was $30. Altogether, uh, the arm, the fluid head, uh, I don't know, maybe $50, $60 with all the, the bolts and everything stainless so it doesn't rust. And then I wrap it with camo wraps. I don't use duct tape. Uh, you can get this from, uh, I get it from Academy. I, I don't know if it's uh, 15 by 8 or 15 by 6. I think it's 15 by 6. You get six sheets, and it's like $12.99 or $14.99, and it's waterproof, and it, it sticks real good. It's not uh, it's not like duct tape. Duct tape dries out and rots, and gets sticky. This stuff is uh, it's on there good. It does it will scratch up on the corners a little bit, but it, you can't hardly tell. It's waterproof. This has been out in the rain many times. Um, once it's once you got your camera and everything on, it's a very very stable picture. It's uh. I normally have this one in, in the tree and then I have the one on my bow. It's real hard to film yourself. I like to take this when I film other people. It, uh, it does pretty good in low light conditions. It, it's not a real expensive camera, if, if, but it does do pretty good. In extreme low light conditions, it, it, it's black. I mean, it, it doesn't record that well. But for the price, you can't beat it. It's very rugged, waterproof. And the size and the usefulness of it is, is great. You, uh, you pop that SD card out and put it in your computer and, and you have all your videos to where when I was using my other camera I had the mini disc. I made a two week trip to Illinois two years ago and I come back with 20 or 25 discs that I had to, to download each one and convert. This is so simple you just uh, put the SD card in your computer and download the footage and you can start, uh, start editing it. Editing programs, there's a lot of them out there. A lot of them have trial versions that you can try on the internet. Uh, the only thing I can say is try different ones to see what you like. I like Pinnacle Studio 14. It just it worked for me. Uh, the price was great. That's it.